Hi, my name is Aditya Nadariva and welcome to my video about, about my speech regarding uh, Are video games bad for children? Certainly, it is good for children to play. In fact, kids are not getting enough free play today. Kids learn many things through playing, especially friendly, rough and tumble play which helps the brain develop in multiple ways including building social competence. Some people argue that active activities like video game play that on face value seem too bad for you when in fact are really good for you. Steven Johnson point out how much more complex popular culture is today than in the past, including the complexity of video games. Compare Pac-Man with The Sims games. He argues that the increased complexity promotes intelligence. For example, when you play a video game, it is often a frustrating learning experience that requires you to repeatedly problem solve to learn the game. In fact, James Paul Gee suggests that you may even learn the scientific method through the necessary trial and error of figuring out how to meet goals in the game. Well, according to this criteria, playing constructive and pro-social games like The Sims can be good for you, with at least one caveat. As long as you have a balanced life with real life, face-to-face -face friendship and enjoyment in socializing. Playing violent video games is different from playing positive constructive games. In fact, violent video games may have even more powerful influence than violent television and movies, whose risks have been documented for decades. While violent video games may promote some complex problem solving and coordination skills, as well as they may also have multiple negative effects. Well, here are three related to moral functioning. First, in violent video game play, the player learns to associate violence with pleasure. Re for example, rewards for hurting another character. This may undermine moral sensitivity. Under normal con conditions, human em emotional wiring is designed to avoid violence and feel rewarded for helping others. Those who play violent video games may build the opposite intuitions. Second, children practice over and over the actions available in a game. The player may practice simulated violent behavior hundreds if not thousands of times. Violent video games allow and encourage virtual harm, for example burning people alive. Is it what you want your children to be practicing for hours on end? Third. Video games can be a habit forming because they give immediate rewards for learning. Children and adolescent brains are typically susceptible to negative habit forming as their brain are under development until the middle 20s. Society should have a say about the availability of violent media. It is unfair to the backs of parents when there are so many human costs, toxic elements to monitor in a child's life today, and parents do not receive the information they need to help to make decisions. Parents could spend 24-7 being bodyguards of their children every move. Parents could spend 24-7 being bodyguards of their children every move because of the endless onslaught of risky products and media.